Hey friends, what's up? Jefferson Santos here in Tampa Bay, Florida. Big weekend, got a couple of VIP leadership trainings. One of them I'm doing with a great friend of mine. She is amazing. She just hit the training circuit. And what's fun about my, my job here is I get to impact and train, right? And you know they've all said that when you learn and then you teach, you learn it twice. But I'm kind of learning it three times because I'm not only teaching what I'm teaching, but I'm teaching like the why behind it. So I'm learning it at a deeper level. I think one of the key things to get mastery of you know, building teams and motivating and impacting and all these different things is when you start to train others to train others. If you try to make everybody happy, guess who's not happy? You. Everybody on your team is not going to like you. Get over it. You do what you can do. All you can do is all you can do, and all you can do is enough, right? When you start to train others to train others, it's a whole different mindset because you have to really think about why are you teaching it the way that I'm teaching it. If you want to get better at your craft, you want to get better at speaking and training and, and teaching your teams to duplicate, then make sure you're always training somebody up to train others. If you have to go inside your head and put yourself in a situation to make something happen, then do it. But if you don't discipline yourself, the world is gonna discipline you. And so we have to put that you stress on ourselves to keep moving. And what's more important than the meeting or the training is the meeting after the meeting. Because this is where you debrief. This is where you build relationship, find out what they learned, you know, clarify things that maybe they were unclear on and help them take that commitment to a whole nother level.